עם איתמר טורקצ'ה. I've been a professor at the Weizmann Institute for 35 years, and throughout my career I focused on nonlinear physics of complex systems. I worked in chaos, turbulence in classical and quantum fluids, on complex geometries, fractals, and more recently on the theory of amorphous solids. The science that we do here is basic research, and the institute is focused on basic research. Nevertheless, uh, there are many spin-offs, and we have been sensitive to the benefits of these uh, spin-offs in the economic sense, and uh, we have here a, a science park not far from the Weizmann Institute, with many startups and also accomplished uh, companies that have uh, taken the research from the lab to the technology and to economy. And I think that over the years, major companies like Teva and other companies have benefited from the research that we have here. It's interesting because uh, in some sense, Israel and the Weizmann Institute are part of the European sphere of science. We are technically a part of the EU structure and we are a, a member state in the EU uh, scientific organization. But on the other hand, we have a very strong uh, affinity with the American way of doing business in the sense that, as I said, we have an aggressive uh, technology transfer program, but we also have a uh, large endowment, which many of the European counterparts lack. They, they, have, they don't have usually an endowment, and they also don't have a strong uh, program of technology transfer. So we are in a position that we can enjoy both worlds, both the European and the American way of thinking. The, the study of fracture deals with the way in which materials fail catastrophically, typically by the propagation of defects called cracks. Um, the, the study of friction deals with the physics and dynamics of specially extended interfaces formed when uh, two bodies come into contact. Problems in, in fracture and, fr and friction are of enormous practical importance. Uh, for example, in the context of the structural integrity of man-made systems or in the context of earthquake physics. Uh, we try to develop macroscopic theories that can predict these behaviors. So we are actually interested in the way materials in interfaces are driven to their limits and beyond where strongly nonlinear dissipative dynamics and propagative singularities lead to failure. Our ultimate goal is to develop quantitative predictive theories of this phenomena. Uh, if and when successful, we can actually uh, tell how and when materials and interfaces fail. Uh, in addition, uh, such theories can actually provide guidelines, design principle, for achieving new materials with superior physical properties. Above all, Weizmann Institute provides a great environment to do basic curiosity-driven science. It has created um, an environment which is research-oriented. There are essentially no barriers uh, for exchange of ideas across disciplines and also for multidisciplinary science. The atmosphere is highly international. We have a variety of machineries to support international visitors and excellent postdoc uh, fellows. Um, and finally, we have a very strong graduate school with outstanding students, which uh, greatly enrich the science being done here. My uh, research is focused on the theory of turbulence, and this is one of the oldest phenomena which physics studies. It's related to the motion of a fluid and of the air. And it's a very complicated phenomenon because it involves uh, very many uh, degrees of freedom and very many different scales and time scales. And in doing this theory, we'll try to build a totally new formalism which can describe this phenomenon. When I think what is special about the Weizmann Institute of Science, I compare it with Russia, where I came from, and with America, where I spent a long time working. And I think that it's a very, very unique place, which has some good parts of Russian culture and some good parts of American culture. And the most uh, important thing for me is that it's a very strongly interactive place. It's a place where people interact within one department, within one faculty, between different departments. 
and it's a place where it's really you can do new things because there are so many other people that help you with it. And in the disciplinary nature of our research, uh, maybe best illustrated uh, as by applications that we made of our turbulence theory to the cloud physics and to understanding how really intercloud turbulence can accelerate uh, uh, rain formation and maybe in the future will allow us to uh, control clouds and rain. So one thing that I wish to say is that at the Weizmann Institute there are two types of science like in every other place. There is what I call M2 and MW, that is a me too science, that we do science the same as elsewhere. But that also MW, which is made in Weizmann, things that are particular to what we, ha that, that what we have invented and what we can lead in the world. And I hope that the ratio of the MW will increase with respect to the M2, as it did over the last years, that I think this trend should increase and make us really leading scientific in terms of the novelty and the excellence of the research that is being done here.